Let's take a look how we would go about setting up IK for a UE4 skeleton based character using the newly released uh, 0 0.3 alpha version of the full body IK plugin for Unreal Engine 4. So we'll begin, we'll begin by uh, creating an animation blueprint and uh, so we'll use the BIK anim instance as our base class which comes with the plugin and for this example we'll just use the UE4 skeleton. Let's rename this. Uh, Alright, uh, one thing which we would uh, just do for fun is uh, change the mesh to something more interesting. Alright, so now uh, setting up the IK is actually pretty that simple for 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 a UE4 skeleton based uh, setup. Uh, so uh, we'll bring in the BIK node and connect that to connect that to the final post. And in the input, uh, we'll feed in idle. Uh, so so for cases where you want like no motion to be coming in, then you can just create like a T pose single frame animation and feed that in here. And uh, and uh, in the constraints, so one thing you need to set up is is the constraints. So again, the plugin comes out, comes with a with a set of constraints for the default U4 skeleton, but you would you might need to set those up if you're using a custom skeleton setup. So let's choose that compile and and that's it for 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 our animation blueprint. Let's save that, and then next we'll create a. Uh, an actor, so so uh, there's a class BIK actor which comes uh, with the plugin. We'll choose that as our parent class, and let's call this tutorial actor. And here, let's uh, go to the skeleton mesh which is already set up, but we'll need to set up the mesh, and let's use our Bot thingy, while well, you are free to use any character of your liking. And in the animation, let's choose the animation blueprint we just created. Compile it, save it, and now we can just drop this guy into the carry into the scene. So now, uh, if you run the scene at this time, uh, there would be. Uh, no, nothing special going on besides it plays the input animation because there's no factors that we've set up. So if you go into your BIK folder uh, inside the common folder, there will be an effector uh, blueprint. If you drag that here, then uh, here inside the details panel, you can specify uh, what bone to effect. Uh, so in this case, we want uh, this to affect uh, the left hand bone. So let's bring that and uh, sort of like you know bring it where we want it to be. And let's set up another one and uh, let's make it to affect hand R. So now we'll select our BIK actor, which is a tutorial actor. Let's uh, collapse this. Uh, and here in the BIK effectors, you'll see that we can add our effector actors. So let's add a couple since we have two in the scene. We'll use the picker to pick first one and then the second one. And that's that's basically it. Uh, so now you can just start simulating, and you'll see that uh, that the effectors correctly. Uh, get set up uh, and, and then they affect the skeleton. Now there are some more parameters which have been exposed uh, for the for the actor. For example, you see that when I move this factor, the character uh, bends down or or follows uh, or, or follows the factor forward. So you can set those up. Uh, you can uh, set those. Uh, you can uh, set those parameters here, uh, which uh, should be between 0 to 1, um, they're always clamped to the value 0 to 1, so if you set something like 2, it will be clamped down to 1. So, And there's also uh, two more parameters for the hind limbs, which uh, are more useful for quadruped characters, but in this case, hind limbs would refer to the legs. So so to see their effect, let's, uh, let's stop this, let's uh, drop in another effector. And <coughs> Let's uh, try to see 
uh, if uh, let's try to set it up too so that it affects the foot down. Oops, I don't want another. All right, and there you go. And there. Uh, okay, so so this didn't work because we also need to select this actor and add that effector in. And now this should work. Great. So so now if you see that if I move this, um, the 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 root of the the pelvis of the character doesn't get affected. But uh, let's say we want some effect, then we will we would increase that, you know, maybe 0 0.5. So and then when they move away, you'll see that the character will move up and down with the with the effector. All right. Uh, so because of uh, the way now the effectors are set up in the real world, you can also set up as many as characters as you like. So let's just duplicate our actor. And let's make these guys find each other. <laughs> uh, just for the sake of visualization, let me just change the color on this guy so that we know which is which. Uh, right. Uh, and then uh, let's go and duplicate some effectors. Let's say I want to duplicate. Okay, great. And uh, Okay, I think that's good enough for illustration purposes. So this one will affect the hand R, so maybe let's say let's say we want hand left here. So we'll go pick our second actor and now since we duplicated it, it's still being affected by the same factors uh, in the scene. So let's go delete all of those, add a new one, and add this newly made effector and let's play. So there you go, and now you can uh, set up oops, now you can uh, set up uh, set up your uh, scene, your poses, and uh, everything works for multiple actors.